This spring, we are raising some of the world's rarest newborns. All the primates that were born were born to first-time mothers. So we're very excited to watch them grow up. This is the first time we've ever had red rough lemur babies or swamp monkey babies at the National Zoo. Lemurs are the most endangered mammal on Earth, so it's very important that we breed them. There are over a hundred species of lemurs, and only two of those species actually build nests in trees, and red rough lemurs happen to be one of them. Red rough lemurs are the only primates that actually give birth to litters. Molly has been an excellent lemur mother. We could not have asked for more, especially since she was a first time mom this year. Molly's three babies are a little over a month and a half old now. Mom and dad will actually take turns watching the young. If Molly decides to leave the nest and grab some food to eat, the males will actually switch with her and they will watch the young while she goes off to eat. In the wild, there's about a 65% infant mortality rate with lemurs. A lot of that is from accidents and falling. So when we found out that Molly was pregnant, we had to baby-proof the entire exhibit as much as possible. All right, so let's check all of our knots, make sure everything's still good. We made sure we had the right nesting material. We filled the exhibit with extra mulch and hay to make everything nice and soft. When you're spending a lot of time in trees and you're a baby and you're just learning how to climb and jump and maneuver, there's a lot of room for error. As keepers, we help Molly raise her young by keeping a very watchful eye. We want to make sure that it looks like they're maintaining weight, that their fur is growing in nicely. When the babies are first born, mom spends a lot of time nursing. After about the first month, they start exploring and putting things in their mouths. They actually started mouthing a bunch of the food pieces that we would put in the pans. And I'd imagine that in the wild, they would do the same thing. This is mom right here, by the way. Primates live in a variety of environments, so it's very important for mothers to pass on the skill sets that are necessary for their offspring to live in their particular habitat. In the wild, Allen swamp monkeys are found in Central Africa in the Congo River Basin. They're one of the few monkeys that really enjoy living near and using water in their daily lives. Layla is a first-time mom to Zawadi. Layla has adapted beautifully to being a mother. I think she's really enjoying it. Um, she doesn't seem phased by it at all anymore. For Layla, it's important that she teach Zawadi how to swim, as well as how to look for food, what's appropriate to eat and what's not. Swamp monkeys would be using similar behaviors in the wild. They'd spend a large part of their day foraging for food. So we try to replicate that as best we can in captivity. Get some over here. All right, I'll start on this one. <laughs> okay. Most primates carry their infants with them at all times, just like a human mother would. Layla has carried Zawadi um, most of the time since she was born. Um, she's starting to put her down and letting her explore her environment more and more now. Layla and Daria are full siblings, so they're full sisters. So Daria is Zawadi's aunt. So Daria is very protective of Zawadi and often stays very close to her and Layla. Zuadi's dad is the only male swamp monkey that we have, Nub Armstrong. Male swamp monkeys really don't have a lot to do with the rearing of offspring other than protecting them. You will not see him interacting with Zawadi a whole lot yet. Slowly over time, Layla is releasing the reins and Zawadi is actually also becoming more and more curious about her environment. So it's just great fun to watch her grow up. 
we see a lot of parallels between lemur families, primate families, and people. These babies, they want to be everywhere all at once. And then you see mom and mom's trying to wrangle everyone together and you see dad and he's not sure what's going on. Watching Zawadi from the first day she was born and seeing this tiny helpless infant and how much care she received from her mom and the other members of her group is something that we can all relate to.